Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another brand new release, 2022-23 Panini Donruss Elite Basketball, six box half case pick your team number one. Finally get to chase the members of that 2022 NBA draft class. All card ship, and it's a half case break, second half available in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. First half, big thanks to this group for getting into it and making it happen. If you got a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that team in the uh, team random that we did. We did that in a separate video. Mark, you ended up with Last Bot Mojo before we pulled the remaining teams. And there's everybody right there. Thanks, everybody. Um, here's the case of Elite. On the heavy side here, this is what item is this? This is item number... And we've got the second half in the store right now. Another six boxes. Uh, I would advise everybody to pick their teams on at jazbeescasebreaks.com. Pick your team before someone else does. All right. There's the case right there. Rex is asking, how much do you think World Baseball Classic games affect the players for the regular season, being that these games actually mean something? Yeah, that's... Uh, I. I honestly don't know. Uh, I suppose we'd have to look at the last World Baseball Classic and look at the players who played and how deep their team got into the, got into the World Baseball Classic and how it affected their regular season performance. It's a good question. I don't know. All right, so we're doing six boxes. So there is six on that side right there and six on the right side right over here. So there's two, four, six, and there's two, four, and six. So we'll go one, two, three for the left side on the dice roll and four, five, six for the right side. One, two, three. The back six right here. This front six here we'll do next time for break two. So right here, right on the elite badge, we're gonna mark that with two so we all know it's from the same case. All right, box one, good luck. So we got John Morant on the cover, who uh, was officially handed down an eight game suspension, two autographs per box as well. But uh, the games he's missed, it's already time served. So I think he's only gonna end up missing a few more, two or three more games. And I'll be back in action. Good luck. So the key guys, we're finally getting some of the, the current draft class. The key guys that we're going to top load, Paolo Banchero, Jalen Williams, Chet Holmgren, Jabari Smith, Mathurian as well. I'll add him to the list. So this is a chance for, I kind of use the hobby, you know, to kind of help me keep track of the the young players here. So Paolo Banchero is for the Orlando Magic. Jalen Williams. We're Jalen Williams is uh, at OKC. Chet Holmgren's at OKC. And Jabari Smith is a Rocket. Mathurian is a uh, is a Pacer. According to VegasInsider.com, your Rookie of the Year, your overwhelming Rookie of the Year favorite is Paolo Banchero at minus 7,000. Wow. That means you have to, you have to bet $7,000 to make $100.
Remember when the uh, remember when the Chargers blew it in the playoffs? Was it the playoffs? Yeah, I think it was the playoffs. The Chargers were up big at the second half, and I think they were minus. Does anyone remember the details of that story? It was minus eleven hundred or something like that. And some person, some obviously rich dude, put down. I think twenty thousand dollars on your to for the Chargers to win or something like that. Obviously, they didn't. Not, obviously, not a smart bet. All right. Good luck, everybody. All card ship. And we got a Jalen Duran. New breed rookie autograph for Detroit. That's going to be for for Zihao Yang. Jalen Duran was the 13th overall pick. Nice. Maybe we'll find his teammate, Jaden Ivey. And our second autograph on card, that is uh, Drew Holiday. That's going to be for Stephen K. and the Bucks won that team in the filler. All right, so our first two autographs popping early. Let's see what kind of parallels we can find here. I think we'll be able to spell Morant by, throughout the course of this break. I kind of the, they did something different with the surface of Elite. There's a slightly more. Does it feel like there's more of a matte finish to it? Here's a die cut right here. No, it feels a little uh, feels a little different. And we've got a Kevin Love acetate. This side, we've got a Paul George die cut, eight out of 13. That will be for the clip show, Anthony with the Clippers. That's a die cut of John ja Moran. I guess we'll still add it to the pile. Giannis, clarity for uh, Stephen K and the Bucks. Trey Young, orange, not numbered. All right, there's your first box. Second box. Uh, let's take a look around the league here. I know my stupid Lakers lost to the Rockets by four points. No Anthony Davis, but still. Come on, Rockets are so we're 16, a oh, 16 win team before this game. Kevin Porter Jr. with 27 points, nine rebounds, and six assists to lead the way for the Rockets. Austin Reeves put a 24 point seven assist game together. That's pretty good, but just, just not enough. In overtime, Mavs beat the Spurs. It took them to overtime. Could have used the Mavs' help. Or could have used the Spurs' help to beat the Mavs, but... 
Surprised I went to overtime in the first place. Kellen John Keon Johnson? Kellen Johnson? 27 points, 8 rebounds. Christian Wood, 28 points, 13 rebounds. Celtics beat the T-Wolves. Okay, so that kind of helps the Lakers. Jalen Brown, 35 points, 10 rebounds. Anthony Edwards, almost a triple-double. 28 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists. Kings beat the Bulls. Kings, uh, Kings I learned this. They're in Chicago. They have the best in the West, the best road record in the West. They beat the Bulls by 3. Devon Sabonis with a... 14 point triple double, 14 points, 17 rebounds, and 10 assists. DeMar Rosen led the Bulls with 33 points. Oh, yeah, I needed this help too. Heat beat the Grizzlies. If anybody had the Lakers losing, well, how all the Grizzlies are in the top six, I think. But Jaron Jackson Jr., 25 points, 9 rebounds for the Grizz, and a losing effort. Bam out of bio, 26 points, 8 rebounds, 3 blocks for the Heat. Our autograph is Nikola Jovic. Not Nikola Jokic. This is Jovic. That is new breed rookie autograph for the Miami Heat. I'm trying to see where he was drafted. He was drafted 27th overall. Miami Heat, Andrew Peterson with Miami. I have to start getting used to looking looking for the new names. Do we already have I think do we already have an A? We already have an A. Ben Simmons for Michael. So we got A-N for uh, Morant. The orange not numbered. I know uh, <laughs> Scotty Pippen Jr. is not part of that elite tier list, rookie list here, but as a Lakers fan, I'll sleeve that for you, Dwayne, and the Lakers. DeMar DeRozan had a nice game today. And we got turn of the century autograph, Kobe White. Chicago, Ryan Kaysen with the Bulls won that in the uh, in the filler. How is Ayo Dosunmu doing? Well, he played 28 minutes tonight, only three points, one rebound, four assists, a couple steals though. How did Kobe White do today? Kobe White, I don't think played. I feel like Tsumu though overall has been having a decent season though. Gary Trent Jr. to 99 for Toronto, that would be for Chad. Full throttle die cut. Kyrie Irving still in Nets edition here. All right, another box.
All right, what other, a few other games here on a Wednesday. No, a couple other games here. Uh, Sixers beat the Cavs in Cleveland, 118-109. to Joel Embiid, 36 points, 18 rebounds, and four blocks. I feel like the Sixers feel like they're, they're heating up at the, uh, at the right time. Karis LeVert in a losing effort at 24 points and six assists. Warriors are in Los Angeles. That's the ESPN game, although I'm watching you at Team USA World Baseball Classic. But Clippers are up 115 to 104. Look at uh, the Warriors' home and road splits. They're great at home, and they're, but their record is almost the opposite on the road. But Kawhi Leonard has 30 points and 7 rebounds. Steph Curry, 42 points, and there's still 6.5 minutes left in the fourth. It could be a 50-point game for him. Apparently he had 21 points in the third quarter. Wow. Steph Curry's at 45 points. Got 45 points, a couple rebounds, four assists, two steals. But they're still down to the Clippers. United States hanging on to a one-run lead. They're in the top of the seventh, looking to add runs. They're the road team. We can tack on some runs. Here's a uh, uh, Malachi Branham Spurs. Was he a first round pick? No, Jeremy Soshan was their first round pick. Brandon was a late first round pick, 20th. So hopefully part of that new new uh, new era for the Spurs. Kayshawn with that one. It's Jordan Poole to 99. Uh, Fung with the Warriors. Jimmy Butler die cut. I think we already have an end, but we'll trade that die cut out. Let's try to let's try to keep it matched up here. LeBron James orange. He'll be reevaluated re in a week. Let's see how that ankle is doing. Hopefully it'll be good news. And Chris Busher, turn of the century autograph. Chris Busher going to Chad and the Toronto Raptors. Donovan Mitchell to 55, die cut. It is a uh, Cleveland gear. Jason K. And 55 out of 99, Trey Young for the Hawks. Jay with the ATL. Last master is Rudy Gobert. So 
All right, halfway through this half case break. Steph Curry's at 47 points now. Should I maybe flip over to that game really quick? See, watch him get 50. See what games we have tomorrow night. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be here for another. We got another hour and a half left here, but but I'll be uh, back tomorrow Thursday. Th my Friday, your Thursday. Thursday's basketball games are going to be Denver at Detroit, Sacramento at Brooklyn. The Thunder are in Toronto, the Pacers are in Milwaukee, and the Suns are ho hosting the uh, Orlando Magic. That's an NBA TV game. And then my Lakers play next on Friday. Dallas at Lakers. Yeah, every card looks like it has kind of refractory e. Ooh, a redemption. Any guesses on the redemption for bragging rights? There's De'Aaron Fox to ninety nine. That's for Colin. So I guess the parallels are all. It's going to be that. Oh, we got an M. We got man. We got man and Morant. And we got a Chet Holmgren for Ed P and the Thunder. Jamal Murray, says James. Keegan Murray, says Mike Tower. And we got a Jeff Hornacek. Hornacek, Hornacek, got Jeff Hornacek autograph for Chad and the Jazz. 37 out of 49. We got Jamal Murray, Keegan Murray, Gilo's going to guess Bill Murray. Mike's going to guess, I don't know who Murray Amsterdam is, but he's going to guess Murray Amsterdam.
Luka Doncic is a guess. And Stephen K takes the field. All right. It's Elite Signatures Red. It's going to be C, A, D, Cade Cunningham. I was hoping it was going to be a rookie, but it's going to be a Cade Cunningham instead for Detroit. That's going to be for Zi Hao Yang with the Pistons. Stephen K had the field. All right, Steph has 50 points now. Pretty efficient too, 20 from 27 from the field. That's a, that's a 74% clip by the way. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, who are the players to watch in the in the March Madness turn? I have no idea. I guess we could look up top NBA draft prospects. Twenty twenty three. I guess the top two are Victor Wenbanyama, but he's in France, and Scoot Henderson, he's in the G League. Brandon Miller from Alabama. Jerace Walker, Houston. Cam Whitmore, Villanova. Nick Smith Jr., Arkansas. Kenyante George Baylor, Anthony Black from Arkansas. Grady Dick from Kansas. Taylor Hendricks, Central Florida, Kaysen Wallace, Kentucky, etc., etc. Tradiac, what's going on? Who at Jaspies is best at picking college basketball? I, I don't know. I'm trying to think who are the winners in recent years. I feel like it's been someone different every year. College basketball is such a crapshoot. The tournament bracket picking, anyway, is such a crapshoot. Shield thinks the Missouri Tigers are going to make a run. You heard it here first. Are they even in it? I don't even know. I haven't looked at a bracket yet. Hear me out. Alabama out in the second round. And we got a Jaden Ivey rookie auto. Nice. Pen Pals auto. 45 out of 49, Detroit. That's for Zi Hao Yang. Nice. And there you go. That is your... Uh, what pick was he? The, your fifth overall pick. There's Obi Toppin to 99 for New York. Here's a die cut, but we still got a T for Morant.
It feels like these rookie cards are few and far between, which I actually kind of like. Because I feel like that boosts the value of these rookie cards. There's Benedict Mathurian for Mark and the Pacers. Missouri's a 7 seed. Oral Roberts, San Diego State, Cinderella picks for Tradiac. And we have a Kenyon Martin Sr. Turn of the Century autograph. That's for Denver. That's going to be for James. James who won the Nuggets in the filler, the team random. Kawhi Leonard, die cut to 98. All right, final box coming up. Usually when March Matt when the bracket comes around, I, I do all this research and get into the bracketology and the numerology and stuff like that. Not this year. I'm just gonna, it's gonna be a low stress year. I'm just gonna, or a low research year. Let's see how I do. How much do you think Penny regrets not waiting to release this and not have Thomas on the yeah. He probably would have preferred for John Morant not to do what he did. You know, flashing a gun at a strip club and then post it on social media. Or maybe someone else posted on social media. Uh, there was an interview with him on ESPN, I think with Jalen Rose or something like that. It seemed to show, he seemed to have showed the right amount of contrition and, and, and apologies and whatnot. He didn't shoot anyone. He didn't strike anybody, so I guess that's good. It's not like he got like a DOI or anything like that. No PEDs. All right, final box. Good luck. Eight sounds about right, don't you think? Yeah, does the, if the gun was small, does the caliber of the gun matter? Maybe it would have been more if it was like a shotgun. But if it's like a 357, then you're like, eh. I think Dennis, he, I think Trey goes thinking rest of the regular season. Yeah, I don't think they'd hold him out for the playoffs. And we've got a rookie of the year. Rookie, oh, sorry, not rookie of the year. Rookie yearbook, Caleb. Uh, Houston, 46 out of 49 for Orlando. 
It's going to be for Jeremy, 33. I honestly don't... I mean, John Morant really didn't do anything wrong, did he? Not... Not... Not morally, anyway. Nor legally. But that's what they collectively bargained between the league, between the owners and the players. So that, that was the rules. 11 out of 68, Carl Anthony Towns. Towns die cut for Minnesota. That'll be for Justin. Yeah, what was the gun in Men in Black called? The Will Smith gun in Men in Black? Some sort of bug. There's Jason Terry. Dallas. Kayshawn Chang with the Mavs. Eight out of 49. Josh Richardson to 99 for the Spurs. That'll be for Kayshawn Chang. Jalen Brown die cut. And I think that... No, we didn't quite... I, I, I'll be honest with you. We got a little further than I thought. We got a little closer than I thought. There's your break, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team one, Donner's Elite Basketball. Thanks, everybody, for getting into the action. I appreciate it. Second half in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next basketball break. Bye-bye.